Hey, I'm Bebo, and this is Harley, and today we're going to be teaching you how to play We Rate Dogs, the card game. We Rate Dogs is a new tabletop board game based on the popular Twitter account We Rate Dogs. Maybe you're familiar with it, and maybe you're not. So first, allow me to explain. We Rate Dogs is a 12 out of 10 Twitter account in which dogs are rated and judged on their appearance, performance, and general goodness. <laughs> Only good pups make it onto this account, and this Twitter account helps tell their stories. In this board game, you'll be rating dogs as well, and the game takes place over three total stages. Stage one, the shelter. Stage two, the path to goodness, and stage three, the winner's circle. To set up the game, set out the winner's circle, and to its left, put out the shuffled shelter deck and the shuffled event deck. To the right of the winner's circle will be the yard. Each player will have their own home region and between all of the players there will be a space for the shelter where the players will be adopting good dogs. Deal each player a hand of seven event cards. Players may look at them but should keep them a secret from the other players. Place the category die where everyone can reach it and then give each player their three tokens as these will be used to claim good dogs. Then take the number of players and add one, and then draw that many cards from the shelter deck and place them face up in the middle of the table. These are the dogs that the shelter has ready for that day. Each dog card has a set number of ratings at the bottom. Now, let's go over the shelter face to start. The youngest player picks the first dog, followed by the player to their left, and so on until each player has picked a dog. The last player to pick takes both remaining dogs. Repeat this step until each player has a number of dogs equal to the number of players plus one. Then set aside the shelter deck back onto the left of the winner's circle. To the right of the winner's circle is the yard where the dogs go outside to play when they're finished competing. In the event that the shelter deck is empty, then the cards in the yard are shuffled up and then placed face down to become the new shelter deck. Next, we move on to the path of goodness phase. But first, an important note from our sponsors. Unless a card specifically states otherwise, no dog's ratings can ever be reduced below 10 because they are all good dogs. Yes, they are. They are all good dogs. Oh, I love you. Oh. Finally, it's competition day. First, roll the category die. This die represents the six main ratings on the dog cards, which are floof, sass, poopability, zoom, ears, and wag. The category rolled is the one the dogs in this round will be judged on. It's possible that the category being judged may change during the round due to event cards that are being played. Once the judging category has been chosen, each player chooses a good dog to compete from their home and try for the circle. Then place them face down in front of them. Once all players have chosen their dog, everyone turns their cards face up at the same time and places their player token on top of their dog, indicating that they are ready to compete. Each try for the circle competition consists of three turns. At the end of these three turns, the dog with the highest rating in the judge category will go to the winner's circle. Oh. Starting with the youngest player, on the first turn, each player then chooses to either play one event card or pass their turn. <laughs> event cards can be played on any dog in the competition, even someone else's, and the player must choose if they would like to use the action or the rating modifier. They can't use both. You're such a good girl. Then play proceeds to the left until each player has either played a card or passed. This completes the first turn. After the first player has played a card or passed a total of three times, then the turn is over and the round is judged. The dog with the highest rating in the current category is declared the winner and they make their way to the winner's circle. The remaining dogs go to play in the yard and every player who didn't get a dog into the winner's circle draws two more event cards as a consolation prize. Move the first player card to the left and roll the category die again to start a new try for the circle round. Each player chooses another dog from their home to compete and it places it face down in front of them again and then they start an all new competition. Once you've played as many try for the circle rounds as there are players, it's time to move on to the winner's circle and determine which dog is the goodest dog. In the winner's circle, the dogs are placed back into play under the control of their original players. 
If a player has not advanced any of their dogs into the winner's circle, they are given a special dog named Dog Raids. Dog Raids might only have a 10 on every step, but that's only because nobody's gotten to know him yet. Instead of rolling the category die this time, dogs in this round will be judged on their goodness and any card that changes the category for the entire table or individual dog cannot be used for that purpose in the winner's circle, although it can still be used to modify ratings. The player who has the dog with the lowest goodness rating gets to go last in this round, even if they have more than one dog in the competition. The player to that player's left goes first. After three turns, the dog with the highest goodness rating is declared the winner, and its player wins the game. In the event of a tie, all tied dogs win, because of course, they are all good dogs, Brent. And that's how you play We Rate Dogs. Tell us in the comments below the name of your good dog. Thank you so much for watching. Be bold, play games, be you. Happy gaming. Bye. Bye. Mm. Oh, yes, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, don't eat my ear. Oh, oh, I guess my makeup doesn't matter anymore, does it, Harley? <laughs>